Greetings fashionistas, we have a great show for you today. Joining us in the studio is Rocky Gathercole, a high fashion couture designer hauling all the way from LA. He is best known for his explosive, experimental and unpredictable designs. He is designed for such as Britney Spears, Katy Perry, Nicki Minaj and even royalty. Welcome. You've been around quite a bit. Uh, so what are the differences between uh, the Middle East designing there and designing, say, in America and in Canada and in Hollywood? The currency, I guess. No, the currency? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's almost the same because people in Middle East, they love to, they love something uh, different and artistic in their clothing so it's almost the same so you were mentioning actually before that in the middle east i think in dubai uh that a lot of the women wear head scarves and you so you had to kind of design for that as well yeah the the abaya they call it abaya and the shela to cover their hair uh, i did for quite some time yes to to complement their clothes inside because I'm doing an evening dress every, almost every week to my client. The party in Middle East is every week. Every week? Yeah. Actually, the princess, didn't you design how many dresses for her? I did, uh, for one princess in Dubai, three wedding gowns for three, three different events. How long was her wedding? It, it's the same prince. He's, she's married the same prince, but it's royalty, so you have to please every... I see. Every... You know. So, have you have you designed for any other royals or any other celebrities? I know Britney Spears. You did all her billboard posters, all the posters. She had the giant V. Um, you you were actually the mastermind behind that. Yeah, I, I did that. Lately, I'm doing with uh, Gwen Stefani. It's Gwen I, Stefani. I, she I did it Saturday Night video. Life. Yeah. Saturday Night Life. And J Lo. J Lo. But the big booty. Yeah. Big, big. <laughs> I'm doing the concert of Thalia on October and we're preparing the the publicity for Sia. Sia. New looks for Sia. Ooh, yeah. That's what we can expect. Can yeah, we expect like any certain colors, any design, like pearls or Yeah, I, I can tell. You can't it's tell. Not okay. <laughs> your your lips are sealed. Look, this guy has the exclusive on everything over here. <laughs> but he can't tell us anything. It's okay. Actually, your backstory is very interesting. So you, you actually lived on your own since you were 14. Yeah. You, you lived on the street. Can you tell I, us a bit about that? I live on the street. I left my dad at 14 because I have an identity crisis. I don't know what to do in my life and I don't know what I want in my life. So I left him and find my life somewhere. Then up after after almost eight years on the street, uh, I decide I, I met a Korean. Where, where did you meet her? On on the church. Church. Um, you were born again. Yeah, I'm a Christian. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> how how did you end up going to church? How was how did that all work out? Because uh, living on the street, it's hard. You you met a lot of crazy people, <laughs> like. Like crazy fashion, like your fashion design crazy? No, or <laughs> it's really crazy people. Yeah. Like the, I don't know how to go. Those living on the street, like. Yeah, of course, of course. And then so crazy. You, you met a Korean at church, yeah. and then you ended up getting a job as a waiter. As a waiter, then while working on the restaurant, I have a, a break time from 1.30, to 4.30, mm -hmm. that is the time I'm doing my things, like drawing, designing a clothes, and I buy pencil and... Like art supplies. Yeah, art supplies. I actually do the self-studying for designing because I cannot afford to go to the school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just finished my... And then you went to Dubai. No, not... Not Dubai. I went to Saudi. Saudi first. Arabia, and then you went to Dubai. Then I went to Dubai. How, what was the difference between uh, living there and living uh, moving to Saudi Arabia? A lot different because in Saudi it's really hard to live there. It's so strict, and 
there's so many don't do this, don't do that. So I'm a law-abiding citizen, but then again, I cannot take it anymore. I have to go to a cosmopolitan city like <laughs> Dubai. It's beautiful. The more challenge I got, and I learned a lot in Dubai. Did you feel when you're in Saudi Arabia, it kind of took a toll on your creativity, or did did you feel like there is a lot of pressure on your creativity that you just had to let it out in Dubai? No, it's a challenge in Saudi because uh, there's no sources. Um, fashion TV is is not allowed. Wow, that's Mag strict. Magazine is not allowed. Like. They cover the face in the paper. They cover everything. How did you end up designing there? <laughs> yeah, so that strange. is a challenge for me. That's why I keep on telling I'm an artist first b before a designer because I try to, to squeeze my mind creating something from nothing. Do you feel like your religion influenced your designs at all? For sure. It's a gift from God. And I believe that. You mentioned that you're praying to God about what to do and... I keep on praying to God for everything, like for asking for new ideas, asking for a lot of things like colors. Whatever I want, I ask. I ask for His blessings. You mentioned before when you were very young, uh, you're asking God, um, what should I do? And He said, yeah. use your gifts. For design. Because for a long time on the street, like I keep on telling the Lord, please uh, take me out of the street. Uh, I'm kind of shy. Because seriously, someone like me on the street, nobody noticed. Like people don't care. They, they're, they're come and go and they don't even know that you are there serving them. Do you feel that that humbled you a lot now? <laughs> Because you're, you're a pretty high-profile designer. You work with a lot of celebrities all the time. Do you feel that that kind of keeps you grounded? Yeah, and nothing actually changed. It's just, I'm talking with celebrity now. So tell me about some of the celebrities that you've been working with lately. You, you mentioned a few. You actually did Katy Perry's music video. Yeah, that's the, my first uh, music video with an artist. Skitty Perry, but lately I got a lot, like Paulina Rubio, I did her music video, Talia. I, I don't remember others. There's <laughs> so many! <Yeah. laughs> They're all sending you pictures of them in your, their outfits. Wait, how, how, did, how are you getting connected with all of these uh, large artists and celebrities? Do they, do they see your work off the runway? Do they get their uh, bookers and agents or their stylists to contact you? How, how are they connecting with you? Uh, they actually go to, uh, to my show. I have a business partner, it's Jacob Mayer. We have a shop in Melrose. They actually come to our shops. Oh, wow. And whenever they are there, we close the shop for them. And they're so happy to be there. Like, Talia will call. I'm going to be there in five minutes. Please wait for me. <laughs> wait for me for an hour. An hour. <laughs> but she's so sweet. Aw. Do you make custom pieces for them, or do they just find it off the rack, or? Uh, whatever. They find it suitable for them. I do most of the time, like for Nicki Minaj, I do a special one for her because... She's Nicki Minaj. She, yeah. <laughs> she has this body, beautiful body. So. I, I know you mentioned that you have a uh, one outfit made of bug wings, uh, beetle wings or... Yeah, beetle wings. Beetle the, wings. The last, my latest collection in Manila. How did you put that all together? Did you like take the beetles, take no, off their wings? I have to stitch it one by one. Wow. And it's almost a thousand and two hundred pieces. Of so wings? It, it takes about seven days to finish. Wow. Yeah. That's all. That mo beautiful. I love it. I love the colors. And like colors like that, you can't really produce them. You have to get them right from the source. I, I, I want like the natural yeah. in everything. I, I always wanted to use the natural things. Well, what other natural things have you used before? Like the, the shells. Like seashells? The seashells, or? the normal color of the seashell. I love it. Like There's another kind of flowers that 
I forgot the name. Wait, you've made dresses out of flower petals? Yeah. How long did that take and you? Because wouldn't they go back? Even the original butterfly, I put it in a resin like the... Oh, you'd probably put some kind of gloss over it to... Yeah, it's looked like an ice. So when you put it wow. uh, on, on her, it's like a real... It's actually a real butterfly on ice inside who, who the... Who did you design that for? I did it in, back in Dubai when doing wow. the photo shoot for some of the celebrities. So for you, is it mostly uh, runway shows or is it photo shoots? You actually did a very interesting photo shoot in New York. I want to bring that up. <laughs> you actually, uh, you didn't get a permit or anything. You went no. to New York on the street, a little bit risky. I know you're into risks, yeah. especially their fashion and everything. And tell me a bit about that. Yeah, I, I stayed in one of the hotels in 42nd Street. And this is my biggest dream, to do a street couture. <laughs> and I told my mo told my mother, uh, okay, this is what you do. Go on the street, just keep on walking, and all we have to do is take your photo. Okay. Signal stop. We we bump into each other and take the photos. <laughs> and the police said, you cannot do that here. Of course we can. <laughs> this is this is uh, as long as there's no tripod, right? Not only that, it's a busy street for people. I'm so crazy doing that. All my friends said, really? Seriously, you do that <laughs> in New York? I know you said that you don't have a favorite piece. You couldn't decide. But there's a lot of very good pieces. What would be uh, probably in the top 10, like most memorable? The, the water pieces. What? So what does that mean? Do, do the pieces actually go in the water or no. do they look liquid? It looked like a water. How did you construct that? Did you use some kind of glue? Because it's very three-dimensional. Yeah, I, I used the, the E6000 glue. It's transparent so it won't show while putting the crystals. And, and I did that in 2012. Then Paris Hilton wore that in her video. In 20 Paris Hilton? Yeah, she wore it in 2014. You've actually designed a few things for Paris Hilton, right? Like a, a dress? A lot of things. Do in, you like in, working in, with in her? Yeah, she's very nice. Yeah, she seems very sweet. She's texting me. <laughs> Not everyone gets texted by Paris Hilton. <laughs> but is that different because she's asking for a dress? I want to be pretty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She won the best dress in Cannes back in 20... And that was yours? 30, that's my dress. 2013? Yeah, and in Grammy, pre-Grammy, wow. she was all over the news because she's not wearing an underwear. Oh, and that was in your dress? Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry, Paris. <laughs> so, do you... <laughs> So I guess uh, the models, the, the clients, they, they bring their own underwear, you just provide the dress. Yeah. Yeah, that's... <laughs> but most of the time they don't. So <laughs> I should not telling this. But <laughs> Guys, we have an exclusive that's here. Rocky is uh, <laughs> I guess everything about Paris. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. But yeah, the clothes that she wears are obviously very beautiful. She has very good taste. And it's quite a compliment that she thinks that <laughs> your clothes make her beautiful, which your clothes are beautiful. Actually, I'm wearing one of your pieces. Tell me a bit about this. Uh, this is my latest collection for July 10. <laughs> <laughs> and this is actually the, the s how do I say this? The, the lady in me. Oh. <laughs> I usually create a weird things. This is a very ladylike kind of style. So this is actually what I'm doing back in Dubai. Because that's where the money is. Not the, cra the crazy thing is for me to be uh, for the music video for yeah to have your yeah. artistic outlet that yeah. way but, but yeah, this I is actually what I want to do I, I noticed with your designing in a past interview you actually said that your mood plays a part in the way that you design when you're very happy that's when the the madness the crazy designs yeah. come out and what happens when you're sad you're a little more like... When I'm loveless. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to ask about your love life. You already you were like, no love life. <laughs> yeah.
But what happens when you're a little more uh, loveless? <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's, it's now a I'm more, speechless. It's a little more like uh, calmer. Your designs are more calm. And then when you're super happy, it's more extravagant. Yeah, it's extravagant. I know, I know when you said that you were designing, I got like a little uh, backstage notice that um, you actually listen to music when you design. Yeah, and I listen to... Whitney Houston. Whitney, Arita Whitney. Franklin, <laughs> Barbara Streisand. Strong woman. Yeah. And who do you design for? Uh, strong woman. Yeah, feisty woman, <laughs> strong woman. Just like the music. I, I love them. I, I love people who love to fight for what they want not what they oh just wear this oh uh, no always always see the, the whatever you wear it's you not because people want you to wear that kind of things that's why i love j-lo i i love everybody celebrity who wear what i'm doing i'm not expecting it. like lately carrie underwood is wearing my Gold. Yeah, at the Country Music Awards? Yeah. Yeah. And that, that for her was, I was a little surprised because usually it kind of looks like she's a little bit more conservative with her fashion. But I saw her at the Country Music Awards and it was very extravagant. She's so happy. <laughs> yeah. Because people notice that she looks different, she looks young. She looks exactly a celebrity who is doing something different in, mm -hmm. on stage. How did that come about when you're, uh, was that a custom piece for Carrie Underwood? Or it's did actually she a, a piece I presented in New York Fashion Week and and she loved it. And I was, and that's the first dress I'm doing uh, in the collection, in the 60 piece collection, that is the first one I did. Wow. And when she, she, when she had it, I said, what? It's Carrie Underwood, she's really looked great on that. Oh wow! Uh, do you usually match um, like with hair color or skin color? I know for Miss USA, the pageant, you wanted uh, the girl that you designed for to look like a silhouette. So she is uh, she's like African American, but you actually put a black dress on her. Yeah, because I met her in during the taping on America's Next Top Model. That's Mami, and I and I told her if I can dress her on the beauty pageant. I said. Well, really, Rocky, I, I want. I'm happy to hear oh. that you're willing to. She likes to sponsor my clothes. I said it's okay. America's Next Top Model. Are you friends with Tyra Banks at all? Do you guys keep in contact? Yeah, I did her costume for the makeup that she's launching in in the show, and she's nice to work with. Yeah, is she is she easy or a bit harder to dress? Because no. with that body, it looks it looks fairly easy to she's dress her. She looks height. good and everything. Yeah. She's a perfect model. Right now, if you could put Tyra Banks in anything, what would you dress her in? Right off the top of your head. What color, what design, what she, kind of crystals would, or feathers would you put on? I know you're big into she's feathers. She's the best in everything. Anything? Yeah, she's actually, she's really a model for everything. Just, uh, if you close your eyes, like what's the first thing that you think Tyra Banks, what would she be wearing right now? White dress. White dress? Yeah. With what kind of accents? There's no accent, only at the back. <laughs> so how many, uh, how often do you make new collections? Is it, it doesn't seem like it's every season for you. It seems like it's every month for you. You it's have something. It's actually every month I'm doing pieces because uh, I got a lot of invitation in different countries like now Canada. Canada. And at the end of the month, I'm doing a, a fashion show that will benefit the ch childhood, like homeless kid in, back Aww. in the Philippines. And that really resonates with you because that's a lot like what you went through. Well, you're mentioning actually when you're a kid, back to your youth, you actually used to read a lot of comic books and that's kind of where you learned how to draw and you saw the designs in the comic books. Very true. I love comics because to to someone like me who don't have the means going to school, 
I learned a lot from, from comics, like the facial expression, the body movement, uh, a lot of things. Like I can draw Batman, Superman, Mickey Mouse <laughs> without looking at them, without uh, just imagining. When I was, I, I, I will tell this, when I was nine, ten years old, I draw Farrah Fawcett, Whoa. Jacqueline Smith, Keith Jackson, <laughs> their face. I'll draw it in the school. When my teacher said, oh, somebody told me you can draw. Yes, ma'am. Can you draw something that in maybe 15 minutes, I draw the face of Farrah Fawcett. I noticed like a lot of designers I uh, talk about when they're young, especially male designers, that they had Barbies and that they would make clothes for the Barbies. It's true. Is that is that what you did as well at all? Yeah, I tried that uh, many times, but again, I cannot afford that during my younger years. So I do paper dolls. I do my own paper dolls. Like I dress a lot of paper dolls during my days, and all my friends they come to me like. Oh, Rocky, can you do one for me? Of course, <laughs> wait. In five minutes, I, I can give you another paper dose. Now, you said in a past interview that you'd rather go to a hardware store <laughs> rather than a fabric store. So, uh, what's, what's the logic behind that? Why and wh why do you use some, those materials? No, since I started in LA, uh, people is expecting a lot. So, one day I, I, I'm with my girlfriend, designer, and she's telling me, let's go to this uh, fabric store, there's a lot of, I said, no, I'm fed up with that store. I'll take you to the hardware. What? I said, to the hardware, I want to see something there. What are you gonna take there? <laughs> and just come with me and I'll show you something. Okay. Now we actually have some designs of yours, Rocky. Yeah. You're right here. So we have a male model and a female model wearing some of your couture designs. Here it is. So tell me a bit about uh, the male piece first. It looks like a disco ball almost. Yeah, it's, it's more of a gladiator kind of style, but in a, in a new era. <laughs> it's there's a lot of chains and it looks like a bit of a hunchback in the back or like a yeah like almost like popping it whoa look at the back how, how did you come up with this what inspired this it's very LA yeah the the music video the the people there this is what they wanted to wear most of the time lots of chains especially in what's this there's an event every August the Burning Man. And then her dress. This is actually a mix of Western and Arabic. If you notice the crystals, that's very Arabic, but again, the European is doing such things. This is a leather at flower. Uh, wow. It was a laser cap leather at flower and a heavy lace. Did you glue all of this down individually? Because it looks very some yes three dimensional. Mm -hmm. Oh, very nice. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. <laughs> and actually, tell me, tell me a bit about this. This is the same kind of leather flower on yeah. my dress, right? It's a laser cut with a different uh, laces. I love mixing things. Also, I noticed with uh, the Katy Perry outfit, it was a little bit different. Where it, it was almost like this this mold it was like a gold yeah, mold it's acrylic how, acrylic yeah i how, do it myself how, how do you make acrylic designs like that how does do you twist things is it really hot when you're working with it or nobody see it because i'm alone in my room while doing it so you lock yourself in I put on some music some whitney houston <laughs> you're jamming uh, out with your mannequin you're putting things on some acrylic that's that's actually what I want uh, people to to see in my dresses. I want them to love it and and leave a question after. So that's the question to I don't answer. To start a conversation. The first time I went to America, that is my biggest dream to work to Victoria's Secret and for them to to hire me as well. So. Unfortunately, it never happened, 
but I'm happy where I am now. I'm, I'm in Hollywood, like everybody now is working with me and love to work with me there. So it's, it's almost the same thing. Almost. Uh, no, the, the, the designing that you're doing is absolutely amazing and such high profile cl clientele. Actually, speaking of collaborations, do you ever think you'll do a collaboration with, I know earlier in your childhood, uh, comic books were a very big influence with you. Do you ever think you'll, you'll do a collaboration with Stan Lee or any kind of comic or action hero? Like, oh, superhero movies, that's really big right now. Can you see yourself doing anything for film? Yeah, actually, yes. I, I I have an offer, but I cannot talk that. about it. That's talk okay. It. That's okay. <laughs> so you love Sarah Sales. Maybe I'm not soon. Maybe soon. Soon, yeah. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. We will be right back with Rocky, and we'll be talking about his new Canadian runway show coming up. Welcome back to Inbox with Julia Cosby. We're back with couture designer Rocky Gathercole and the rep for Couture Culture and Arts, Leslie. Hello. There's a big show coming up. Um, so Rocky has um, come in for CCA, which is Couture Culture and Arts Canada.com and is our website, but this is the organization that we represent. Um, and with that, um, we're fortunate to, and blessed to have um, Rocky come and do a, an amazing lineup this week. Um, we have a huge, huge fashion um, event happening on Sunday, um, and that will be a red carpet VIP event. Um, there are tickets available for that. Now you guys are actually doing something a little bit unique with this show with other designers actually. Tell me a bit about that. Um, so we have, name a few, we have Rocky Gathercall, which is our feature designer. Um, Tris Lucid will be also in the house and Zia Zamora is one of our other designers to mention a few. Um, it'll be a spectacular evening. Yeah. Tell me about, are you excited for this event? It's your first Canadian show. Yeah, I'm overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Being, just being here, I'm overwhelmed already. And showing my collection on July 10th, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's all. Except for next time when you come back. And you'll have to come back because you said you love Canada. Yeah. Oh. So what can we be expecting? You, you also mentioned that you, you have a new uh, collection every single month. So has this collection been seen before? Or is it? Uh, half of it, yeah. Half it's of it. Before, but so we have, we have a bit of a sneak peek up here in Canada, eh? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so tell me a bit about what we'll be seeing in the show. It's a black and white collection, so. Black and white, ooh la la. Oh, that's kind of black, white, and silver. Yeah, it's kind of like the, his the guy is on silver, but the girl is on black and white. You have a, a very special model walking. She's blonde. You, you might have known her for like a Yeah, long I think I'm talking to her now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is she? <laughs> Right here, I'm, I'm walking in his show actually. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be fantastic. I, I'm excited to see what you're going to dress me in. And sure. uh, we'll, we'll catch the show and we'll, we'll see what I'm wearing. <laughs> Thank you, Rocky. Thank and you very much. <laughs> Thank you for having me. This is a big thing for me. It's going to be exciting to see you on that runway, Julia. It, it's, it's going to be a great show. Thanks for viewing in and watching What Matters to Canadians Most. We'll see you next time. Bye. Number one multicultural channel. This is Tag TV.